Hi, my name is John Kelsey. I'm National Trainer for Hard Hat Industry Solutions. This is a session from our Red Rhino Academy, our complete training course in electrical estimating using Red Rhino software. Welcome to our session, How to Take Off Multiple Conduits. In this session, we cover how to do a material takeoff for multiple conduit feeders and then enter the materials into Red Rhino estimating software. If you've not watched our session, How to Take Off Conduit, please watch that session first. This session is more advanced and builds on the previous session. I would like you to be aware of something important now. The real magic in using Red Rhino's Conduit Wizard is that you can enter multiple conduit runs all at the same time. This is a great time saver. In this example, we will take off and input two runs of conduit simultaneously. To complete this training segment, I will be using a project drawing, Rhino material takeoff sheet, and a scale X to measure the conduit on, on the drawing. If you do not own a scale X, I highly recommend you get one. They're a huge time saver, and you can buy them online. Now let's take a closer look at the drawing. The drawing shows a top view of a building containing three electrical panels. It also shows feeder conduit, which runs from the main switchboard MSB, to both panels A and B. Both panels are 200 amp and both panels are fed with 2 inch EMT with four 3 aught copper conductors and one number 6 ground. I will demonstrate how to take off 2 inch conduits feeding both panels and transfer the information to Red Rhino. To better understand what the two dimensional drawing represents, I'll also use a three dimensional drawing of the same building. This is not the view you would normally have on blueprints, but it shows how the conduits run out of the top of panel MSB, over, and back down into panels A and B. I will also use this drawing to illustrate three things you should be familiar with. Conduit risers, elbows, and wire makeup. First, when doing a conduit takeoff, you must include the length of the conduit risers. Now, this is an example of the conduit risers. I'll highlight them here. It's the conduit that runs out of the top of the panels. I will account for the conduit risers by overrolling the scale X. I'll show you what I mean in just a few minutes. Next, let's look at our second point. Our second point is conduit elbows or 90 degree bends. The number of elbows will be input into Rhino so you can capture their material cost and the labor required to install them. I'm circling them here so you can understand what the 90s are. Now this is a three dimensional drawing but on the usual drawing that you'll be doing a takeoff from you won't, you won't see where the 90s are required to be so you'll have to figure that yourself. You'll have to figure out how many 90s you need in each conduit run. The third thing I'll explain with a 3D drawing is wire makeup. Wire makeup is the length of wire it takes to extend past the end of the conduit to go to the termination point. In this case, the wire would have to go out of the end of the conduit and terminate on the circuit breaker or landing lugs in the panel. We must determine that length of wire to capture the cost of extra wire required. This extra wire length for makeup will be entered into Red Rhino using the conduit wizard. Now let's look at the takeoff, the material takeoff that we're using. It's been filled out with the conduit information shown on the drawing. See the material descriptions that we've discussed? Returning to the drawing, and before you start, set up the scale X to the same scale which matches the drawing. Pretend my computer pointer is a scale X while I demonstrate how to do it uh, conduit takeoff. Since both conduits on this drawing are the same size and conduit size and type and the same conductor size and number, I can take them off and enter them into Red Rhino together with one entry. I will take off the conduit at right angles to allow enough conduit and wire to go around obstacles or obstructions of the building and I also allow for conduit riser length by over rolling past the end of the conduit run. When you roll past it adds extra length on the scale X count.
I will start measuring the conduit which feeds panel A. I roll the scale X over the path of the conduit at a right angle. I'm going to slightly over roll to cover conduit feeding panel A is 130 feet long. I do not need to take off couplings, connectors, or conduit supports. Red Rhino will input those or add those materials for us. And next I write the footage down, calculated by the scale X, on the takeoff sheet and reset the scale X to zero to get ready to measure the next run or the, the, the conduit run feeding panel B. And I'll finish showing you how to roll off conduits, then I'll show you the material takeoff sheet and what it looks like. I measure or roll off the conduit run feeding panel B the same way I did for panel A. I'm going to say that the scale X reads 140 feet for the conduit feeding to panel B. I write this information down on the takeoff sheet. Now I go to the takeoff sheet to show you how it would look with all the information written down for multiple conduit runs. Let's look at the takeoff sheet and allow me to explain how I have set it up. Notice on the left side under material, I wrote the conduit and wire information, the number of runs, conduit application, etc. Since there are multiple conduit runs, in this case two runs, which are the same size with the same size and number of conductors, I'll also be able to enter them at the same time into our estimating using, uh, estimate using Red Rhino. However, I want to record each feeder conduit separately on the takeoff sheet. I take them off separately in case there are any future changes required in the estimate. If there are changes, I can easily know the length of each feeder conduit to make changes more efficiently and effectively. To the right, I've labeled the column at the top, notating that each feeder runs from which panel to which panel, in this case from MSB to panel A or from MSB to panel B. Below the column MSB to panel A, I've written the length of conduit for that particular run, number of runs, quantity of elbows, and in this case, uh, the conduit length that the scale X showed was 130 feet for panel A. Same goes for panel B. Okay, now at the far right I totaled the amount of each one. I, I, you'll notice I totaled, I, I showed the total amount or footage of conduit um, at 270 feet, the total number of elbows, and the total number of runs. Okay. Now, as I explained earlier, I, you have to determine the makeup length. In this case, I determined it to be 5 feet coming out of both ends of the, uh, of the conduit, and the application plus 10 feet, meaning I calculate that the conduit is above 10 feet off the floor, and we use this and input this into Red Rhino later. So this is information I'll show you how we'll input in just a couple minutes. This concludes our takeoff portion of this session. We'll now move to Red Rhino to show you how your conduit takeoff information is entered into the software. Now we switch over to Red Rhino software and I'll demonstrate how to use Conduit Wizard to enter the conduit from the takeoff sheet. I'll assume you watched the training session on conduit takeoff which precedes this. If not, please view that first. From the home page we go down to the third box down on the left and click View My Estimates. This is the estimate list. I click on the estimate that I want to work on. Sample estimate for conduit wizard training. In the estimate, the section name is called sample section for conduit wizard training. I click on the edit takeoff to start inputting materials into Rhino. Again, here's the takeoff sheet. I'll enter the total amount of conduit feeding both panels at one time. The way to accomplish that is to enter the total amounts of footage, number of runs, and total elbows at one time, or in this case, 270 feet of conduit, two runs, and six elbows, or 90s. I will now use the conduit wizard. I click on the Wizards button and select Conduit Wizard and the wizard pops up. This is where the conduit run information is entered from the takeoff sheet. I 
I click on the material drop down and select EMT. Next I click the size drop down and select 2 inch. Below the size drop down it says style. I'm going to leave the setting at SS diecast. Next at the top right hand side of the pop-up window I click the find button and that populates the correct material down below products. I set the application at plus 10 feet like the conduit is to be installed above 10 feet off the floor. Again ap applications refer to the level of difficulty of conduit run and the program has more labor built in for more difficult runs. I click in the run length box and type in 270 for the total footage of conduit. I click in the number runs box and click in the number 2. Next I enter the four three-out copper wires plus uh, one number six ground. I click in the makeup box and enter 5 feet. 5 feet for all wires will be added to the estimate for both ends of the run of conduit. I click in the L's quantity box next and type in the number 6. Next at the top of the pop-up I click the add button. This will populate the materials to the takeoff sheet. Next I click the save button at the top of the page. This is what was just entered on the top line. Line 1 is the EMT conduit. Looking over to the right is the catalog number of the material, the quantity material, which is 270 feet, and the unit price of the material. Next to that is the unit of measure. On the same line to the right, the display for labor hours plus unit of measure. Finally, at the far right is the extended labor or the total labor to install the, all the conduit. The program shows the cost of each item and how many hours it takes to install one. The conduit wizard has added couplings, connectors, and supports and total footage wire needed. Now back to the takeoff sheet. Um, in order to keep track of what's been input into Rhino, and what's not, always check off the items as you input them into Red Rhino. Use the little checkbox at the far right of the, sh of the page. Here is another important point. Every time you make an entry, check that entry to make sure it's reasonable. Red Rhino estimating software will calculate millions and millions of dollars with 100% accuracy, but it takes your knowledge of installing materials to review the results. If you look at the total labor in extended labor and determine that it would take more time to do the installation of the conduit and pull the wire, then you would add labor. You do that by using the add labor button. Click the Add Labor button and type it in the description, type in Add Labor to Pull Wire. To the right, I put the number 1 in the quantity box. In the labor box, I type in the number 4 for 4 hours and then I click Save. When I do that, the program adds four hours of labor to the estimate. With this, we conclude our training session on Red Rhino's Conduit Wizard and have shown how to enter multiple conduit runs. We saw how quickly and efficiently the Conduit Wizard allows you to input materials to estimate multiple conduit runs simultaneously. It adds in couplings, connectors, and supports and calculates the labor required for the installation. Our conduit wizard greatly speeds up the estimating process. This is John Kelsey saying goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me in this session of Red Rhino Academy.